गुड मॉर्निंग माई सेल्फ मेघा राठौर आई एम टीचिंग मैथ्स इन एल पी सवानी विद्या भवन टूडे वी स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर वन द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर वन इज रेशनल नंबर्स वी स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर बिफोर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द नंबर्स नॉर्मली You start to write the numbers from one, but now I discuss with you the numbers. First, natural numbers. The counting numbers, natural numbers. The counting numbers one, two, three, four, infinitely are. Known as natural number, the collection of natural numbers is denoted by the n. Thus, n is equal to in bracket one, two, three, four, infinitely complete the bracket. Thus, the natural numbers start. From one, so we can say that one is the smallest natural number. A natural number has no largest number. Now, second number is whole numbers. Natural numbers one, two, three, infinitely together. With number zero, are called whole numbers. The collection of whole numbers is denoted by W. Thus, W is equal to in bracket zero one two three dot dot dot. Complete the bracket. So now you can see here zero is the smallest number of whole number, and all natural numbers lies in the whole numbers. Now third number is the integers. All natural numbers zero and negatives of natural numbers are. Called integers. The collection of integers is denoted by Z. Thus, Z is equal to infinitely minus three minus two minus one zero one two three infinitely. Here you can see that negative number is also infinitely and positive number also infinitely. Lies in the integers. So every whole number is an integer. Fourth, rational numbers. Numbers can be written in the form of p upon q, where p and q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. Are called rational numbers. The collection of rational numbers denoted by Q. Thus, Q is equal to in bracket infinitely minus two by three minus one by three. One by three, three by seven, infinitely complete the bracket. Every integer is a rational number. Now you can see here, in rational numbers, you can write natural numbers and integers because here lies. Negative numbers and positive numbers also, but zero has no reciprocal. 
we completed the discussion about natural number whole number integer and rational numbers now we start the properties of rational numbers there are three properties of rational numbers first closer second commutative and third associativity these three properties we discuss four addition subtraction multiplication and division and also four numbers natural numbers whole numbers integers and rational numbers and then each discussion we discuss from the textbook from the table so now we have to use the textbook now take out textbook page number 2 properties of rational numbers first closer first of all this property we apply on whole numbers here in the table operation numbers remarks first operation is addition so now you can see here 0 plus 5 is equal to 5 5 is a whole number same thing 4 plus 7 is equal to 11 11 is a whole number generally a plus b is a whole number for any any two whole numbers a and b the whole numbers are closed under addition now second operation is subtraction now you can see here 5 minus 7 is equal to minus 2 but minus 2 is not a whole number so whole number are not closed under subtraction third operation is a multiplication here 0 multiplied by 3 is equal to 0 0 is a whole number 3 multiplied by 7 we know 21 it is a whole number so generally if a and b are any two whole numbers their product ab is a whole number so we can say that whole number are closed under multiplication now th- last is division 5 divided by 8 is equal to 5 upon 8 which is not a whole number it is a rational number so we can say that whole number are not closed under division so now you can see here closer property for whole numbers here only addition and multiplication are closed and for subtraction and division are not closed now next for integers operation addition minus 6 plus 5 is equal to minus 1 minus 1 is a integer minus 7 plus minus 5 we can get the integer in generally a plus b is an integer for any two integers a and b the integers are closed under addition now next operation is a subtraction 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 and it is a an integer and also 5 minus 7 is equal to minus 2 we can get so minus 2 is also integer here minus 6 minus 8 is equal to minus 14 so minus 14 is also integer now here minus 6 minus minus 8 is equal to 2 to 2 as a integer so in generally for any two integers a and b a minus b is again an integer so we can say that integers are closed under subtraction now multiplication 5 multiplied by 8 is equal to 40 40 is an integer minus 5 multiplied by 8 is equal to minus 40 to a, minus 40 is also integer in generally for any two integers a and b a multiplied by a is also an integers so integers are closed under multiplication now last division 5 divided by 8 is equal to 5 upon 8 but 5 upon 8 is an is a very rational numbers which is not an integer integers are not closed under division so now you can see that here whole numbers are closed under addition multiplication but 
आर नॉट अंडर सब्ट्रेक्शन एंड डिविजन एंड इंटीजर्स आर क्लोज अंडर एडिशन सब्ट्रेक्शन एंड मल्टीप्लिकेशन बट नॉट अंडर डिविजन नाउ फॉर रेशनल नंबर्स रेशनल नंबर्स मीन्स पी अपॉन क्यू फॉर्म हियर फर्स्ट वी यूज इज फॉर एडिशन तो थ्री अपॉन एट प्लस माइनस फाइव अपॉन सेवन इज इक्वल टू माइनस नाइनटीन अपॉन फिफ्टी सिक्स विच इज अ रेशनल नंबर वी कैन फाइंड दैट सम ऑफ टू रेशनल नंबर्स इज अगेन अ रेशनल नंबर सो वी कैन से दैट रेशनल नंबर्स आर क्लोज अंडर एडिशन फॉर एनी टू रेशनल नंबर्स ए एंड बी ए प्लस बी इज ऑल्सो अ रेशनल नंबर now we discuss about the subtraction you can see here minus 5 upon 7 minus 2 upon 3 and we get the minus 29 upon 21 so this is a rational number so we can say that rational numbers are closed under subtraction that is for any two rational numbers a and b a minus b is also a rational नंबर नाउ वी सी फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेशन तो माइनस टू बाई थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फोर बाई फाइव एंड वी कैन गेट द सिक्स अपॉन थर्टी फाइव हियर बोथ आर रेशनल नंबर एंड मल्टीप्लाइड इट एंड वी गेट द ऑल्सो रेशनल नंबर तो वी कैन से दैट रेशनल नंबर आर क्लोज अंडर मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट इज फॉर एनी टू रेशनल नंबर ए एन बी ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाई इज ऑल्सो इज अ रेशनल नंबर Now we discuss about the division. So minus five by three divided by two upon five. So we can get the minus twenty five by six is the rational number. But sometimes we divide it zero. So it is not possible. So the rational number are closed under division. We can uh, uh, we arise a question. We find that for any rational number a, a divided by zero is not defined. So rational numbers are not closed under division. Now you can see here a table, the clo closed under addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and rational numbers, integers, whole number, and natural number. You fill these tables yourself. The second property, commutativity. First for whole numbers. In all numbers, first addition, zero plus seven is equal to seven plus zero is equal to seven. For any two whole numbers a and b, a plus b is equal to b plus a. So we can say that the addition is commutative. You now subtraction. For example, here seven minus five is equal to two. Five minus seven is equal to minus two. so we can say that 7 minus 5 is not equal to 5 minus 7 so we we can say that subtraction is not commutative now for multiplication for multiplication we also take one example 7 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5 multiplied by 7 is equal to 35 so multiplication is commutative now Last is division. For division, the example is five upon seven is not equal to seven upon five. So division is not commutative. Now we discuss for integers. First addition. For addition, we take a example. Here minus five plus three is equal to three plus minus five is equal to minus two. so we can say that addition is commutative now subtraction 5 minus 3 is equal to minus 3 minus 5 question mark so we can say that 5 minus minus 3 is not equal to minus 3 minus 5 so subtraction is not commutative now for multiplication for example we see here minus 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to minus 
so we can say that multiplication is commutative now for division we take one example here minus 5 upon 3 is not equal to minus 3 upon 5 so division is not commutative now for rational numbers first addition here you can see minus 2 upon 3 plus 5 upon 7 is equal to 1 upon 21 and 5 upon 7 plus minus 2 upon 3 is also equal to 1 upon 21 here we change the order of the number but we get the answer 1 upon 21 so we can say that two rational numbers can be added in any order we say that addition is commutative for rational numbers that is for any two rational numbers a and b a plus b is equal to b plus a now for subtraction here give you example 2 upon 3 minus 5 upon 4 is equal to 5 upon 4 minus 2 upon 3 question marks so we discuss about it 2 upon 3 minus 5 upon 4 is equal to minus 7 upon 12 and 5 upon 4 minus 2 upon 3 is equal to 7 upon 12 so we can say that 2 upon 3 minus 5 upon 4 is not equal to 5 upon 4 minus 2 upon 3 so we can say that subtraction is not commutative for rational numbers now for multiplication here you can see minus 7 upon 3 multiplied by 6 upon 5 is equal to minus 7 upon 3 same thing we multiplied first 6 upon 5 multiplied by minus 7 upon 3 we can get this answer minus 7 upon 3 so we can find that multiplication is commutative for rational numbers so in generally a multiplied by b is equal to b multiplied by a for any two rational numbers a and b now for last is division here minus 5 upon 4 divided by 3 upon 7 is not equal to 3 upon 7 divided by minus 14 we can say easily so we can say that division is not commutative for rational numbers now you have to fill this table yourself and write in your fair book